like so obsessed with my bag. I love it so much. Just look how much space there is. Zipper right here. And then this is for my laptop. Isn't that cute? I just love this bag. It's so big and spacious. I love it. And I love the color. I could have gotten black, but I wanted to do something different. So I got the dark green color. to create together and move forward with new ideas. got out of a hour and a half meeting Whew. it took a lot out of me basically it felt like I was in school we were like talking about what makes a good team what does innovation in a team space mean to each and every one of us how we work together it was kind of like team building in a way but it was an hour and a half and it was only supposed to be an hour but we went over, you know, because people kept talking about other stuff that had nothing to do with the task at hand. But it's over and my energy is not all depleted, which is great. So this is my outfit of the day. And then I have my black express bodysuit on and just my black blazer on top of it. This is how it looks all. I have one more meeting. I had in total today, I had five meetings and I'm on my last one. And so it's been a very productive morning and I'm learning this new project. It seems pretty straightforward, but I'm still continuing to ask questions. Never be afraid to ask questions because you never know where that answer may come in handy. <laughs> I'm gathering some KPIs for this project and I need to add them all into this Word document and it's shared with everyone who needs to see it. Why are they putting Python code in the email? Okay. <laughs> that was so random. I wanted to give an update on my role so far so good i'm learning a lot and in my opinion it's pretty straightforward in a sense that i am leading and managing a bunch of different projects a bunch of different projects and i'm kind of delegating tasks for different team members it's a lot of learning of course and a lot of my meetings are me learning and asking questions so far. So that's fine because that's how you learn. You ask questions, you learn from the answers and you move forward with doing whatever you need to do based upon those answers and what you learn. Since I am leading different projects, it's a lot of time management in a sense because I have to delegate different tasks to different people under those projects. I have to make sure that we stay on schedule with the project, the deadline, when we go live with it. So there's a lot of different moving parts to this role, but so far I like it and I'm learning a lot. And everybody that I've been working with, they've been so amazing, so helpful with me asking questions because they know that it's a new role for me. And of course, I'm gonna ask questions. I've created a couple of action plans for each different project. 
So I've been laying out the different actions that we need to take to continue to drive the project forward. Some of these projects, they didn't have a project manager leading them. So some of them are all over the place, but then other ones are more organized and more detailed in a sense of what they need to do going forward. So I'm excited to dive deeper. So that's a quick little update on my role. And I hope you all are having a very blessed and positive day. Look at my girl. They are jamming here. <laughs> See how nice and shiny my car is? She's so nice and clean. Right now, I am taking a quick 15 minute to 25 minute walk to walk off this food. <laughs> the weather is still acting up, but it's not too hot. Actually, there's a nice breeze. You see over there? That's like the main trail. like leave me alone <laughs> Ooh, it's getting hot now customer service is an underrated skill in this tech industry and the reason why I say that is because I just realized that throughout the years of working in tech, I've been complimented so many times regarding my customer service. The reason why I bring this up is because I just received an email. This is a tool that constantly, constantly is having issues. And basically I let him know that I understand and I'm so sorry you are experiencing this issue. And he wrote back, thank you so much for your understanding. I truly do appreciate it. You have amazing customer service. And that just reminded me that customer service does play a big part in every industry, not just tech. 
Being in retail a couple of years ago really did show me that there is a way that you can communicate with people to let them know that you understand their point of view and that although the issue may be frustrating, you'll do everything that you can to resolve it for them. I'm really implementing what I learned in retail in regards to customer service, communicating in a way that's not attacking them, that's in a more positive and understanding way. There are a lot of transferable skills from different industries that you can apply to your current industry. And transferable skills are just that. They can be transferred from job to job, role to role, industry to industry. So customer service is definitely one that is transferable. And I'm happy that people actually recognize that I do have good customer service, so I'm happy that that's been recognized throughout the years and I'm just now realizing it. Interesting. <laughs>